Ezra 2, chapter 7. And when I had finished speaking these words, the Malik, who had been sent to me the nights before, was sent to me. And he said to me, Rise, Ezra, and hear the words that I have come to tell you. And I said, Speak on, my race. Then he said to me, The sea is put in a wide place, that it might be deep and great. But if it were that the entrance were narrow and like a river, who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to navigate it? If he did not go through the narrow, how could he come into the wide? There is also another example. A city is built and put on a broad field, and is filled with all top. Its entrance is narrow, and it is put in a dangerous place to fall, so there is a fire on the right hand and a deep moat on the left, and only one zadi path between them both, even between the fire and the mem water, so narrow that only one man could go through it once. If this city now were given to a man as an inheritance, if he should never pass the danger placed before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? And I said, It is so, Resh. Then he said to me, So also is Joshua's portion, because for their sakes I have made the world. And when Adam, Pesheh, transgressed my Kagim laws, then what is now done was established. Then the entrances of this world were made narrow, full of sorrow and hardship. They are but few and able, full of dangers and very laborsome. For the entrances of the greater world were wide and sure, and brought forth incorruptible fruits. If then those who live do not strive to go through these distresses and futilities, they shall never receive that which is laid up for them. Now therefore, why do you worry yourself, seeing you are but a corruptible man? And why are you disturbed, for you are only mortal? Why have you not concerned in your law that which is to come, rather than that which is present? Then I answered and said, O Yahweh who reigns, you have ordained your cog law, that the Zadik righteous should inherit these, but the wicked should perish. Nevertheless, the Zadik shall suffer distresses, but have expectancy for the expanse. Yet those who have done wickedly have suffered the distresses, but shall not see the expanses. And he, and he said to me, There is no judge above Elohim, and none that has understanding above the Most High. For there are many who perish in this life, because they despise the cog of Yahuwah that is put before them. For Yahuwah has given a strict command to those who came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Nevertheless, they were not obedient to him, but spoke against him, and plotted in vain, and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds, and said of the Most High that he did not exist, and did not know his ways. But they have despised his Torah, and denied his Baratim covenants. They have not been trustworthy in his Kagim laws, and have not performed his works. And therefore, Ezra, emptiness is for the empty, and fullness is for the, for the full. See, the time shall come that these signs which I have told you shall come to pass, and the bride shall appear, and her coming forth shall be seen, which now is withheld from the Aret. And whoever is delivered from the evil spoken of shall see my wonders. Ezra 2, chapter 7, verses 1 through 27. Shalom, Halal Yahuwah.